How to sell my iOS app. Many iOS developers ask how to make money with their apps. Even if you are an altruistic developer, you may be wondering how you can join the 45% of developers who are making over $10,000 a month from their iOS apps. The iPhone app market nearly doubles the amount of money in the Android market. The iOS app market is a big cake, and it's up to you to cut a slice. We'll talk about actions you can take to improve the revenue that your iOS app makes. It's helpful to decide the method you're going to use to monetize your app. Free. One method is to release the app for free and make cash through ads and in-app purchases. Paid. Sometimes it's simpler to ask people to pay to download your app. Freemium. Free. Paid. Why not release both and allow users to try your app? One advantage of this method is that the App Store has a section for both free apps and paid apps. If your app has an existing user base and you have a strong brand, consider selling it. When you're ready, use Blue Throne's valuation tool to estimate your app's value. Choosing a monetization method is going to involve multiple factors. The free business models are more popular. However, paid apps are a popular option for high-quality iOS apps with an immediate appeal. Publishing your app is a small investment. Don't take it lightly. It costs $99 a year to create and maintain an Apple developer account. There aren't many alternative places to sell iOS apps with good revenue potential, unlike with Android. Apple has designed the App Store to be the one-stop shop for iOS apps. Apple's approval process is more strict and rigid than Android, but once you have it done a few times, you'll get the hang of it. Check the App Store review guidelines and pay close attention to each step while submitting your app. Test your app again and again before you upload it to your listing. Tips to get the most out of your app sell. Research your target audience and similar apps. Build a unique, high-quality app that stands out from the rest. Market aggressively. People need to see your app. Spread the word. You don't need a big marketing budget. Start with a Twitter page and a press kit and promote your app. Asking people to review your app is another good idea. Reviews for your app generate legitimacy and make it inviting. Attending events and getting to know people in the app world can be daunting, but it helps so much to get involved with the community. Show up and meet people, and people will support you and your app. At the end of the day, we're talking about building relationships with the industry and media. Get to know your users, who your whales are, the minority of your users who drive 50% more of your revenue. By getting to know them, you might find out some of their frustrations, or oppositely, places where they would pay to engage more with your app. Pitfalls to avoid when selling an iOS app. Many users prefer free apps. If your paid app is not performing well, try releasing a scaled-down free version of your app alongside the paid version. Research and communication with users are excellent tools for selling your app. Simple changes might be the key to selling your iOS app. Good luck!